Hey everyone, it's Pebbles and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be getting through my lipsticks. I'm going to actually do a video on decluttering my lipsticks, but uh, what I wanted to do, because I don't think I've done my declutter of lipsticks yet. I really don't because I've got lots of lipsticks. I'm kind of scared to do it. But anyways, today's video is going to be getting through some of my lipsticks. So what I did is I went through um, some of my stash and I thought, you know what, I'm going to grab some stuff that I want to finish and get out of my collection because either I'm not too happy with it and I just, you know, want to finish it or I'm doing a project back to Mac because Kristen K here on YouTube did a uh, she's currently doing a project back to Mac and I really liked that idea So I have some Mac products in here as well So I want to get through these quite quickly with you because I got a lot. So if you're interested in seeing my project Lippy declutter get through project by Christmas. I want to get more I want to get down on a lot of these by the end of the year um, <clears throat> so I've picked a variety of different shades that will uh, help me through the summertime as well as get through um, the fall and into the winter and that's not to say that I'm not going to reach for any other lipsticks but these are what I'm focusing on right now to get them done now let me start off with my first ones that I really want to finish are the Rimmel Acopolips. Now, um, they're called Acopolips in Canada. I think in the, the US they're called Show Off. These came out last year and they were all the rage here on YouTube. And I purchased quite a bit and that's when I was in my, oh my God, I gotta get the next best greatest thing. And so I went out and I purchased like five of these and I purchased them full price so they were ten dollars each so this is fifty dollars right here girls and I've got the one on my lips right now and that's in the color acopalyptic so that's this color right here that's what I have on my lips right now and then I've got four other colors now the thing is I'm not a fan of these um the reason why when they first came out I kind of liked them but then you know what they smell <laughs> And I don't like the smell of these so these were really expensive and I want to finish them off like you know you can't you can't um, pass these on to someone else because they have the doe foot applicator and it's just kind of gross so I'm going to swatch these really quick for you so you can see the colors so this is epileptic no it's not epileptic it's ap apocalyptic a cup of lipstick and that's what I have on my lips today so it's a really pretty raspberry color <clears throat> this is celestial and these are full guys so this is going to take me a while to get through these so that's celestial and that's a nudie color the colors are really pretty I'm not going to say that they're not pretty I have no idea what this is called because the color came off the name of it came off so that's this one right there. It's like a pinky color. Why? Right, where the heck did the... Oh, well. Then there's this one here called Solstice. And this is kind of like another nude color. That's Solstice right here. So they're like liquid lipsticks, but they, they're they not matte. They're, they're, they're shiny, creamy. And this is stellar and this is more like a red that's stellar right there so it's more like a poppy red so you can see that I've got a good range of colors these colors here I feel are good right up until Christmas because I think that you can wear these in the summer in the fall and in the winter so that's a good thing because this is $50 right here that I want I do not want oh I do not want to waste so those are my five right there the next is a gift that I got in a swap. Um, I've showed this in several of my videos before. This is the Dior lipstick. It's the only Dior lipstick that I own. And it is a sheer color. And this is in the color 343 Spring Ball or something like that. And it's just basically a sheer and this to me is like one of those, I need to just slap something on my lips 
because I'm going out to do groceries or going out for the day or even at work because it's a really pretty sheer color. So I want to get through that. I also have a baby lips that I bought because everybody was talking about baby lips a year ago. And this is in the color, um, I have no idea. But this is like a neutral one. Again, this is another one of those colors where you just put on your lips similar to <laughs> similar to the Dior, but <laughs> not the same price point. So you can see that you get that nice sheer, sheer color and it's got a soft pink hue to it. So I think that's a really easy color to wear. And again, I think both of these are great all year round. I have three, four, five lip glosses because I want to get through my lip glosses because I very seldom wear them and I've got still lots, but these are the ones I picked out to try to finish. And I have a MAC lip gloss, okay, in Snow Girl. This is an extremely shimmery lip gloss. Love this. This is one of my favorites. As you can see, I got quite a bit in there, so I want to finish that. This is a Makeup Forever lip lab shine in d12 this is a pink one and you can see again more sparkle i that was my go-to when i had lip glosses sparkle they had to have sparkle forget about it this is a laura mercier i don't have very much of this left so i know i'm going to finish this off very quickly um this one is in pink diamond again you can see the shimmer in that so i want to finish that off because these are these are my older lip glosses so I just want to get them done because they're going to go bad. And this is another one from Makeup Forever, Lab Shine. And this one's got a little bit more of a rose color. And I've got quite a bit of this. And this is S18. And I'm going to mark all these so that you can see my progress when I'm done. This one is a unique color from MAC. I loved it. And it's called uh, Comet Blue. And this is one of those colors where it's a fun color. You can put it over top of a lipstick. This is a full tube. Um, so I kind of want to get through that as well. So those are the lip glosses that I want to finish. I have an Illamasqua lip gloss, lipstick that I purchased in the color Test. And this is a neutral color. Love this color. You used to wear this all the time. And you know what happens? You end up getting so much makeup that you forget about the stuff you have. And that's what's happened here. So this is a beautiful neutral color. Look at that. It's a pinky neutral. Love this color. And so um, the only reason I'm putting this into trying to finish it is because this is old. And it doesn't... Oh, it smells so good. It's, Mm, I want to eat it. Anyways, um, it's not good to have your products sit around, especially when they're cream products. So right now I'm focusing on finishing my cream foundations, my concealers, my lip glosses, and getting through my older lipsticks. So it's not that I'm trying to get rid of these because I got nothing better to do. It's just that I don't want this stuff to go to waste because let's face it, I think this here was probably like $25 for a lip gloss. You know, when you add a, this up, I've got thousands and thousands of dollars in cosmetics. And it's I'm, I'm going to be damned if I'm going to let it sit there and rot. I'm going to enjoy it. So I also have a Mary Kay lipstick in Berry Luxe. And you know what? Mary Kay has some nice products. Now, this one's not going to take too long to finish. You can tell, like, I really enjoyed this color. Again, you forget about them. And this is a really pretty frosty berry color again I feel that these a lot of these colors can get me through spring or not spring summer fall and winter now the, the next one I have is a Laura Mercier color in amaretto again this is this is a really pretty color and it's um it's like a brown frosty brown isn't that beautiful and I, th I have a feeling like, to me, the, the, the brown colors seem to be on trend right now. So that's that color there. And I, again, I think that that's going to be a beautiful color that I can wear into the fall and winter. And this is old. So again, want to finish it. This is, I think, a $35 lipstick. All right, the next ones are all MAC. So I decided to put in a lot of my MAC that have been sitting around um, that 
aren't getting any love. And the reason why is I was watching Kristen Kay and she's doing a specific MAC project where she's getting rid of, you know, not getting rid of, but she wants to use up the ones that she's got so that she can bring them back and get redeemed for a full size lipstick or a lip gloss or a pro, at the pro shop you can get an eyeshadow. So I thought that's a fabulous idea because I have some lipsticks from MAC that are just sitting there not getting used. So here are, the, here are some of them. And the first one, and I have, I have like, I'm a little torn about this because I didn't really want to include this because this is the original Viva Glam from RuPaul when RuPaul was endorsing Viva uh, Mac. And I love this. Still smells good, but you know what? It's really old. It's like 10 years old or something. But look at that color. That's the color here. It's a beautiful brick red color, brownie red. Love, love, love this color. And again, I think that that's going to be beautiful in the fall and the winter. So that's that one. I have, uh, what's this color? It's a cream sheen called Speak Louder. And that's this color right here. That's that color right there. I have Girl About Town. A lot of people have this color or know about it. It's like a fuchsia color. And that's this color right there. That's more of a summer color, so I'm going to really concentrate on using this the next couple of months. And then I've got Pink Marabou. This is really a beautiful color. I totally forgot I had this. And that's this color right here. Look at this. It's a frost. But look at that. Oh, love that color. And again, that's something I could even wear in the fall, so I'm happy about that. And then this one here, CB96. I've had this for such a long time, and it's like an orange, burnt orange color. And I don't even know why I purchased this, because it's really not a color I would reach for. But I'm going to try to use this. And I think this is one of those colors that I could probably um, incorporate into the fall, because it does look like a fall color as well. Most of these colors, I think could transition into fall with the exception of um, the girl about town. I think that might be a little too bright, but we'll see. And then the last one is the um, Nicki Minaj color. This is the Viva Glam uh, Nicki Minaj. And this is a bright pink. And that's this color right there. That's this color. So again, that's another one that I think I'd have to use within the next couple of months. So these are the colors I'm going to concentrate. These are the products that I really want to get through um, because they've been in my collection for a long time. And um, not all of them. Like this one is new. These two here are new. These five are new. But I'm not happy. Like I don't like these. And I just, I don't want to throw them out because they perform nicely. Like there's nothing wrong with them with the exception of, um, I don't think that they last a long time on your lips and they kind of smell so anyways what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, these are hard to mark so you won't be able to tell what I've finished and what I haven't I'll just be able to know when product doesn't come out on the doe foot so um, aside from these these a couple lips I'm going to take a piece of paper and mark where I started on all of these lipsticks I'm going to mark off my um, what do you call these I'm going to mark off my, um, hello. hello, did you hear Marco? He's saying hello. Hello, Marco. Um, I'm going to mark off my lip glosses uh, to where I start so that I can show you my progress. And then we will touch base on this video at the end of the year. So let's say uh, at the end of December, and that's five months. So let's see what my progress will be on all these goodies in five months, girls. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and um, yeah, I'm excited to really get through this stuff because, you know, like I said, it's going to go bad. It's a lot of money and I just do not want to waste stuff. It just drives me crazy. So if you're doing anything like this and you're doing videos, let me know so I can come by your channel and check you out. If you're not and you're doing it on your own at home, let me know how you're doing and what you're planning to do. And thank you, thank you so much, guys, for your continued support, for coming by my channel, checking it out, saying hello, and know that it means a lot. And I hope you guys are all having a fabulous day. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Ciao for now.